everybody. Welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We are wrapping up our summer ale series here, and uh, this is uh, one of the ones that I wanted to make sure I got out before it got too warm, and if you can still find it, uh, go buy it. The weather's definitely getting colder, but um, this is one worth finding and buying. This is the Goose Island uh, Summertime is what they call it. Uh, Goose Island's out of Chicago. They do a lot of really, really good beers. They're extremely popular in the Chicago area. Every hotel and restaurant you go into, uh, this is always on tap. Not necessarily this one, but some form of a Goose Island beer. They do a ton of different beers, and they're typically all very, very good. This is absolutely no exception to that. This is one of the best summer ales I've ever had. I'm not a huge summer ale fan because usually to me it tastes like you're sucking on a lemon or an orange or something to that magnitude, and this is not at all what this beer is like in my opinion. Um, it looks like, you know, you're kind of what I would call traditional kind of yellowy summertime beer and it does smell citrusy uh, but it's not at all anything like what I would call uh, your sucking on an orange or, or lemon type type beer so um, it does have quite a bit of carbonation to it if you tilt the glass you can see quite a few bubbles coming up it didn't have a huge head on it if you look at our website microbeerreviews.com I take a picture of the head after I pour it, and it wasn't obnoxious, and you, as you can see now, it's just a, a thin, kind of white, nice head on top, which is really nice, I like it a lot. When you first pour it, it smells citrusy, and when you look on um, how they describe it, they describe it as a color, has a color of sunshine, and a um, uh, perfect ale for the, the warm summer days, and I would completely agree. Um, they call it a German style Grolsch ale. And to me, those are a little bit more bitter and a lot lighter. This beer is a lot thicker in texture. Uh, it has a lot more flavor to it. Um, it. I know there's a little bit of caramel in here. And I believe, um, uh, what else do they put in here? It does have two different types of hops. It's uh, Mount Hood and it's Saz. I think it was S-A-A-Z hops. I had never heard of that one before. But it, you can taste a little bit of hoppy flavor to it, which I like a lot. And it's citrusy. Uh, it's something that kind of has a nice, refreshing flavor to it. And it's also one of those beers where I talk a lot about summer ales having this kind of weedy uh, smell to it. This beer does not have that at all. It's really, really very, very drinkable. It's 4.7% uh, alcohol. It's avail available only seasonally. And um, they talk about how it's good with salads and fish. And that's typically what, you know, you eat, eat a lot lighter uh, meals and uh and selections in the summertime, and, and this is exactly what it would be good with. So, um, I like this beer a lot. Um, it's been around, I think, since, since 2002, if I remember correctly, when I was reading about it. And what's neat about it is, to me, it's surprising out of the glass. So, you know, my, my take on this beer is, it is almost, almost a citrusy pale ale type flavor and texture to me. Um, I like it a lot. I would definitely buy this beer because... In the summertime, I don't want like a Miller Lite. I would rather have something that's got a little bit more flavor to it, um, especially with like what, for example, eating eating this with a salad with something else that maybe was a little fruity or had a little bit of sweetness to it. This beer would be phenomenal with something like that. Um, even if it was something like a, you know, you're eating it with an orange. I know that sounds you know a little bit on the on the wild side of just having a snack and a beer, but um, it really has a very very good. Uh, fruity flavor to it, but it's nothing that you can say is orange or or lemon or you know blueberry or raspberry. Um, it just tastes uh, very refreshing. Uh, the way they describe it, like summertime, and that's all I'm going to tell you. It's good beer. I'd give it a four. I would definitely buy this skin. I would buy this in a six pack um, if we had it in our area, which we don't. Um, they don't distribute down here, but. Um, it's just a really, really good beer. Um, and I think that's about all I have to tell you. Um, check it out. I mean, it's a really, really good beer. Um, one of the things on the website they talk about is, is it's a summertime ale that could be a session beer. And I completely agree with them. You could take this out, a six-pack or a 12-pack on the boat, have a nice little, uh, you know, fruity, tooty, citrusy beer, and um, it would go really well in the summertime. So check it out. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, um, this... The picture of it has a you know a beach ball. Obviously, it's on the lake up in Michigan. But um, this is a really, 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 really good, good beer. I like this beer a lot, and I'll be quiet now. <laughs> Thanks for watching microbeerreviews.com. See you again real soon.